Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today we're going to make blueberry French toast cupcakes. So of course it starts with my favorite vanilla cake recipe, which you can find down in the description box below. Follow that up by adding in a good amount of fresh blueberries, and then go ahead and add in your teaspoon of cinnamon. You could even take this a step further and add in some maple syrup or some blueberry jam. Today I'm just making some mini blueberry cupcakes, but you could totally do this in full size as well. Then you are going to separate out four egg whites and then you can reserve the yolks for something else later. I have a great recipe in the right hand corner that you can go and check out. That's how I always use up my egg yolks. Most of this egg white is going to be used for our Italian meringue buttercream, but I am going to use some of it to candy and sugar our blueberries. No exact measurements here, it's actually more about the process and the ingredients that you're using. So all you're really doing is you're brushing that with egg whites, and you can do this with any type of fruit that you would like, and then you're going to toss them around in granulated sugar. Then you're going to put them on this tray and bake them at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. For me, I just love the warm notes that brown sugar brings to this buttercream, and it really gives me that breakfast feel. One word of advice though, when you're measuring out that sugar and putting it into your pot, make sure you use a pot with much higher sides. Mine ends up bubbling all the way over. Bring that sugar up to 244 degrees Fahrenheit and then it is ready to slowly pour into your whipping egg whites. You want to start whipping the egg whites when the temperature is about 4 or 5 degrees away. I love the nice rich brown coloring I get from this buttercream, but if you want to dye this buttercream, you could do that. Just make sure that you're going for a more darker tinge because lighter pastel colors might be more influenced by that brownish color that it gives off. Normally, I leave this meringue whipping for exactly three minutes, and then I put in ice cold butter chunks straight into the buttercream. It always turns out so beautifully whipped and nothing ends up curdled. However, I accidentally whipped this meringue for just a bit too long, and then it wasn't as hot as it normally is, so it couldn't melt that butter. So what ends up happening is this. So if this ever ends up happening to you, that's because your butter is too cold. Now you could use room temperature butter, but I just find for myself, it doesn't work as well and it takes way longer and it ends up being kind of soupy. So what I like to do instead is I like to fix that curdled buttercream by putting it on that simmering pot of boiling water and then I just kind of whip it up and it always turns out great. Now for our fondant toast toppers. So I dyed this fondant a very pale, pale yellow. Today I'm using satin ice, which is the fondant that I normally use, and I added just a hint of cornstarch and a little bit of shortening. I don't know why, but this just gets the perfect consistency of fondant for me. But lots of people can work with lots of different consistencies of fondant, so really it's up to you. Now once you cut out that toast shape, you wanna make sure that the edges are nice and smooth, so you can go ahead and take your finger and just dab along that edge to make sure nothing is jagged. Small pieces of fondant like this will dry very quickly, so you don't need to worry about letting it set for a very long time before you can place it into your cupcake. Next, we're going to put our blueberry jam on top of our toast, and this was just made by adding a little bit of purple and a hint of blue. Whenever I am dyeing anything, I really like to make sure to use gel food coloring. To adhere these little bits of jam, make sure that you put on a little bit of water and then just dab that jam on really gently. I want to add on a little bit of a crust to my toast, so what I'm doing is I'm actually painting this with a little bit of airbrush color. And I'm using a color that is actually more yellowish when I look at the bottle, but it paints on beautifully. You can leave off this step, but my sister absolutely loves it when I add faces to my food, so that's what I'm doing. I just have a large star tip in this piping bag, and I am piping on my buttercream. And when you pipe on your buttercream, you want to start from the center and work your way around and then up. And I'm not peeking this up a whole lot because I want to leave room for my toast and my blueberries on top. I always sprinkle my blueberry muffins with some turbinado sugar, so I thought I would sprinkle it on top of these to give it that kind of breakfast feel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add on all of my fondant toasts and those sugared blueberries that we made earlier. just seem like they would be so much fun to serve at a little breakfast or a fancy brunch on a Sunday or just eating them after dinner because you love breakfast 
all day long. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now I'm uploading daily so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys.